cyclone resilient power infrastructure in coastal areas. New Delhi with cyclones hitting India eastern and western coast on a regular basis. The union government is working on a plan to develop cyclone resilient power distribution and transmission infrastructure. This will ensure electrical to the coastal states during this extreme weather events, people aware of the development said. As part of the playbook being out into the play, the plan is to put in the place that cyclone resilience infrastructure in the coastal belt up to 20 km from the coastline then progressively up to 60 km, ensuring uninterrupted electricity supply holds the key to running emergency services as a hospital, medical oxygen plants and test labs. The development assumes significance given that power and communication poles were uprooted during the cyclone Taute and Yash. While cyclone Taute caused extensive loss of life and poor property in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Daman and Dewey and Darda and Nagar Kerala, Karnataka and Goa, cyclone Yash affected the states of Odisha, West Bengal and Jharkhand. Some of these measures to be taken by the state-run electricity distribution companies DISCOM involve using insulated aerial bunched cables for 11 kV and low tension power links, setting up floods protection walls and using spoffy based paint coasting for protecting steel structures such as electricity poles for corrosion. With flooding being a major area of concern due to the high tidal wave, the plan also involves converting air insulated substantial to gas insulated substation putting in place fiber optic links in transmission system wanting distribution, transformers on the plate and using rail poles and double pole structure. This will reduce damage during the cyclone and bring back the power system online quickly, said one of the people cited above the requesting anatomy. A meeting was recently held by the Union Power Minister on the issue that was also attended by the official of the Central Electricity Authority, CEA, India's apex power state sector planning body that the cyclone affected states and the state-run power sector firms. While cyclones in the Bay of Bengal have been a regular phenomenon, they are also turning up in Western India amid rising temperatures in the Arabian Sea, which experts attribute to the climate changes.